Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to install games from third party launchers like Epic, Ubisoft Connect and EA Play. The installation process is almost the same for all of these launchers. Using the same method you can install any other launcher on your deck as well. We can install games from these launchers using third party apps like Lutris and Heroic Launcher. But some games do run better using Steam itself. I tested a few games on my deck using Steam and observed that the performance was quite good. These games were running almost as if they were native Steam games. I'll be showing you some short gameplays as well. Now when you run a game for the first time, it can stutter a bit due to the compilation of shader cache. This can take a few minutes before the cache is ready. Once it's completed, your game should be running smoothly. I'll be also showing you how to apply artwork for all of these launchers. We will be downloading exe files of these launchers in order to get them working on Linux based SteamOS. We will be using G Proton compatibility layer. So first let's download the exe files. For the purpose of easier navigation, I am using a mouse and keyboard. I will give the links to all of these launchers in the description of this video. This is the link for downloading EA app. Just click here. I have already downloaded it. And from here, you can download Ubisoft Connect Client for PC. And from here, you can download the Epic Games Launcher. Once the download is complete, open Dolphin File Manager. Go to the download section and you will find all of these exe files here. For Epic, it's an MSI file. This will work as well. These three files. If GE Proton compatibility layer is not already installed on your Steam Deck, you can download it from Proton App QT app. You'll find this app in Discovery app. Let me just quickly show you this. Type in Proton. There's the application. I've already installed it. Launch it. Download the latest version of GE Proton from here. This is the version that I am using, 7-42. All you need to do is click on add version, select GE Proton and from here you can select the latest version of it and then click on install. I have already done that. So now we just need to open Steam from the desktop mode. Go to the library section. First I will be installing Epic Games Launcher. Just click on add a game here. Then click on add a non steam game. Now click on browse. Now we need to select the windows install file of the launcher. It's placed in the downloads folder. Home, tech, downloads. File tab select all files. And select epic installer. Then click on open. Make sure it is checked. Then click on add selected programs. Now it will be added to your steam library. Just look for it. There it is. Now just click on the settings cog here. In order to get it working on steam OS, need to change its compatibility. Check this box, force the use of a specific steam play compatibility tool and select GE Proton latest version of it. Now we are ready to run it, close, play, this will start. This is how installer install on windows, click on install. That's it, installation complete. Now we just need to add the exe file of epic launcher that starts it. So click on add a game here, again click on add a non steam game, click on browse. We need to open the compare data folder for epic games. Just click on this directory home tech. Then open this folder dot local. Open this folder share. Scroll down. Click on steam. Scroll down. Click on steam apps. Now click on compare data open it. From here we need to open the folder that belongs to Epic Games. There is a very easy way of finding this. Just sort the folders according to date modified. 
you can see this folder was modified on 17 December and its time corresponds to the current time so this is the folder that belongs to epic games open it then open the pfx folder open drive c open program files x86 open epic games folder open launcher open portal open binaries open win32 it's just a one time thing click on all files here look for epic launcher there it is epic games launcher select it and click on open it is selected checked then click on add selected programs we can now remove the shortcut for epic games launcher manage remove non stream games from your library this is the shortcut for launching epic games so just click on settings cog here click on properties go to compatibility section enable this option g proton now we should be able to start it click on play need to enter the credentials of our epic games account i'll be showing you how to apply the artwork for the launcher once i'm done installing all of the launchers there you go now we can log into our epic games account just make sure this option is checked here remember me so you don't need to manually enter the credentials every time you start the launcher finally we have logged in need to install epic online services just click on ok here close these prompts so just go to settings here just make sure minimize to system tray setting is checked and throttle download setting is not checked the launcher was able to detect my SD card let me just show you this click on download a game need to specify the directory where we want to install the game just expand my computers expand the D drive this is my SD card location let me just quickly create a folder in my SD card location for the purpose of verifying its directory this is the location of my SD card create a folder I'll type in 123 ok go back to epic games expand my computer expand D drive and there's a newly created folder 123 so now we can close the launcher stop I have just renamed it to epic games in order to do that select any game from your list then click on the settings cog here click on properties type in the name here so let's move on to the next launcher now I'll be installing Ubisoft connect same process again I'll do it quickly click on add a game in your steam library then click on add a non steam game click on browse go to the downloads directory of your steam deck this is the directory click on file type here all files now select the exe file corresponding to ubisoft connect click on open make sure it is checked click on add selected programs it should be added to your list now there it is ubisoft connect installer selected click on settings cog here click on properties go to compatibility section and enable this setting G proton selected close it click on play installer will start now this is the exact same process that we did for epic games launcher ok I accept install don't need to run it from here uncheck run Ubisoft connect click on finish now we need to add the launcher exe file to a steam list so click on add a game click on add a non steam game click on browse need to find the com data folder belonging to Ubisoft connect just go to this directory home deck open this folder dot local open the share folder scroll down open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the compat data folder 
now we need to search for the latest modified folder from the timestamp it can be identified that this is the folder belonging to ubisoft pfx drive c open program files x86 open ubisoft ubisoft game launches first make sure all files have been selected just need to find the exe belonging to ubisoft connect there it is selected click on open click on add selected programs now we can remove the shortcut for ubisoft connect installer manage remove non steam game click on ubisoft connect.exe file click on the settings cog here click on properties go to compatibility section enable this setting g proton selected click on play a launcher will start just make sure this setting is checked remember me so you don't need to manually enter the credentials every time you start the launcher all right we have finally logged in so just go to the settings make sure this setting is enabled minimize ubisoft connect to the system tray when the application window is closed also make sure this setting is unchecked limit bandwidth usage from here we can specify the directory where we want to install the games click on change search for your memory card this is the d drive here i have selected ubisoft connect that's it we are ready to use the launcher i'll just close it you can give it any other name if you want i'll just stick with this game so now i'll be installing ea play launcher just click on add a game click on add an on steam game click on browse all files there's the ea app installer selected exe file open make sure it is checked click on add selected programs there it is selected click on settings click on properties click on compatibility enable this setting g prone selected close click on play using the same installer we will be able to start the launcher as well just click on let's go need to enter the credentials of your account make sure this setting is checked keep me signed in all right we have finally signed in and just go to the settings go to download section specify the directory where you will be installing games i'll just navigate to my memory card it's in the d drive there it is here i'll select test you can select any other folder click on okay and that's it now if i try to download any game by default my memory card's directory will be shown as you can see we are done here close it stop i'll just rename it properties i'll name it to ea space app now i'll specify the controller layout for all of these launchers just open steam in gaming mode it finally started as you can see the artwork is missing we'll do that later so i'll be using the same controller layout for all of these launchers first i'll specify the layout for ubisoft connect click on the controller icon here you can check out the community based layout from here i am using this layout gamepad with joystick trackpad you can use whatever layout you want from here you can also use mouse only gamepad with gyro this one works very nicely for me from here i'll be making one change just click on this slot next to right trackpad behavior and select mouse so now i'll be able to navigate through the launcher using my trackpad in order to select any option just need to press and hold the steam button and then press the trackpad specify this layout for all other launchers it's time to install the artwork so switch back to the desktop mode power switch to desktop in order to install the artwork automatically i'll be using an app called boiler you can download it from discover store search for boiler 
b o i l r there it is already installed so i'll just launch it from here you can see different launchers are shown here using this application you can import the artwork for games belonging to these different launchers just click on settings here need to specify the authentication key you can obtain it from this website streamgrid tv basically need to log into this website using our own steam account don't worry it's safe need to specify the steam location right here so let's do that open dolphin file manager click on home open dot local open share then scroll down and open steam in order to copy the directory just click here select it right click copy go back to the boiler app paste it here here you go this is the same great db website just log into it using your steam account in order to obtain the authentication key go here click on preferences all you need to do is click on api and then generate a key for security purpose i don't want to show you my key copy the key from here go back to the application and then paste the key right here once you have done that scroll down to then just click on saves here now click on import games click here import your games into steam downloading 15 images it does it automatically from the images tab you can check out these images open the gaming mode there you go guys artwork has been installed ubisoft connect epic games this ea play everything worked very nicely for running ea app i did not use the launcher's exe file i just used the installer's exe file itself let me just show you this this is the installer but now it will give us the option to start the launcher as we have already installed the launcher on our steam deck there it is launch the ea application just wanted to give you one more tip in case any of these launchers does not detect your sd card just select the launcher open settings click on properties under the launch options paste this line steam underscore compact underscore mounts equal to your path here basically specify the directory of your sd card let me just show you this open dolphin file manager click on primary here this is the sd card location copy this go back to steam paste it here i'll just provide this launch option in the description of this video only use it if any launcher is not able to detect your sd card now i'll be running games through these launchers so let's go back to the gaming board first i'll be running assassin's creed part 2 using ubisoft connect there's a launcher okay launcher started so just go to game section here select it there's a installed game let's start it I'll enable the performance overlay. Screens refresh rate set to 60 hertz. Not using FSR. These are the settings. All maxed out. 800p resolution. I'll keep the gameplay short. All right, game has started. We are getting 60 FPS. We just need to take out these people. Last one. Now I'll be trying out a game on a different launcher. Happy games. 
all right launcher started there's a install game okay game started for crisis 3 i'll just cap the refresh rate and frame rate to 40 as the game runs with a variable fps on steam deck now we'll be getting a stable performance per game profile not using fsr settings 800p resolution fx aa anti-lazing texture resolution set to high advanced setting game effect set to high rest of the settings are set to medium let's start the game all right game started i'm getting a stable 40 fps the game looks gorgeous Oh no, I fell into the sea. That was close. Landed on the stairs. Got lucky there. Where's Psycho? I was left behind. Now I'm going to test the next game. Silence on. Yep. Alright, the app has started. Just click here on this hamburger icon. There's our game, NFS Rivals. Start it. I'll enable the performance overlay. Okay, these are the settings. 800p resolution, everything has been set to high. Let's play the game. FPS seems to be capped at 30. So, all of our games from different launchers work very nicely using Steam itself. I'll end the video here guys, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.